John, he came into the organization, and you pushed me to Montreal. <laughs> I got a nice daughter out of the transaction, and I got a lot of Canadians. Three of them played for me today. I just want to thank you all. I mean, you got to experience what we do. You come down here at this time of year, you're landlocked, you're in, in, indoors, you're in snowstorms, and you come down here on the first day, there's birds flying around, the grass is green, there's dew. You go out and you get to roll around like a little puppy. You guys all got to experience that, and you all, you all did very well. I just want to say about my club, they never had a runner. They never asked for a runner. They picked each other up. They went out there and they actually got faster as the week went along. We sunk in the beginning and we peaked at the end. I tell you, we came up short, but we, you know, we hit Decatur, we hung in there. Schmier hit a ball to third base with his hand. <laughs> You know, I mean, he did go down in the heat. <laughs> Couldn't find him for not running it out. I mean, didn't have anything to do with his feet. <laughs> but uh, that's, the, that's the way we play. And I was thinking, we were sitting there, we were going, who the hell is our most back? You know, and Brian Currier played every position. But I'm not going to give him that award. I'm going to give him the Burke Campanaris Award. He can take that back to Vermont. But the funny thing is, we were thinking about it, and we said, who got faster, who had the tough at bats, who played really hard, and the thing is, we didn't have a catcher. Vernon Page caught. Vernon Page, our most famous. Yeah. Yeah. Your, your team develops 
or you learn about the personalities of your team, and you, you learn new personalities, you make new friends. You know, like Eduardo Vasquez, his beautiful wife, Daniela, and their beautiful daughter, Miranda. Did I nail it? Yep. Nice. I got it, right? No, come on that's pretty good. They don't say shit. <laughs> Sorry, man. They, I don't even know they're here until I see them. And they run pretty good and I see them run by. But they don't say anything, but they got tremendously better over the week, uh, especially with their swings. They both run well and you know, we put Richard in center field some, and, uh, um, and Tim made a great play down the line, diving out for a ball. So, you know, it was a pleasure just being able to know they were around, which you never heard, you know? Uh, we are catcher. It, he tore his, uh, in, the, in the division game, but yesterday morning he tore his pit. What was it? It's, it's the arch, like, thing. I think it's the same thing. Chris, y'all had, like, the same thing. And, Sir? Plantar fascia. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever he said is what it is. But, you know, he hung in there and caught seven innings last night uh, because he loves to catch. Um, Mr. Freeman, 77 years old, he's in great shape, uh, really likes to work on his swing, likes to hit the cage, uh, got a couple of really big hits for us, and, you know, his quad was bothering him, and we go in the outfield, and, and you know, um, we know he's going to run one down if they hit it out here, but he didn't have to do that. So he's happy with that. But Mr. Freeman, it's a pleasure, pleasure being around you again. <clears throat> Tommy Monahan, I mean, played center field for us, left field, right field. Came in and pitched uh, in game one of the, of the, of the uh, count pitch day, and, and we did an outstanding job in relief of Doug. And then, and then in the... You know, in the division game, or the championship game, not the division game, I'm sorry, the division game, you know, he started the game and gave us six innings. He was like, a bone, I made a bonehead move to take him out, but that's what you do. But Doug hung in there, and we got that big win to, to win our division championship. Um, this young lady, when she hits a baseball, not as hard as she you know, You know, the rule is you make the last out. So when Mr. Freeman couldn't run, she and ran. And Mr. Freeman makes contact all the time, and she did a lot of running. <laughs> she got some big hits for us, played second base, and, and uh, even got a chance to catch some. Jim, man, it was beautiful being with you back there. That was great. <laughs> and you can see why if you watch him. Yeah, he's got a great swing. He really does. He gets good extension. He's got a pretty nice swing. He's got a pretty good wide base. So congratulations, Derek, for winning uh, the batting title. That was, that's great. We're proud of you. Pitching lessons, and he said, "You'll see a difference." Well, the first game he pitched didn't see a difference. <laughs> <laughs> he walked the people, but that happens. But he came in, you know, behind Doug yesterday. It's three great innings, and hopefully you're gonna be back next year, and you can, you know, get a couple of starts here. That was a great job. Yesterday. Managing y'all, 
but just to make it a little bit easier on me, our MVP is Doug Scalise. Champions of the 2013 Red Sox Fantasy Camp to present the most valuable player and also to introduce their team, one and all, from Corsi's dads, manager Jim Corsi, and our first year pro here at Fantasy Camp, Brent Saberhagen. I've always been the Nats. 
just because of the sadness. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't explain it to my mom yesterday. I came to visit with my dad, what the nads were. <laughs> and she got it. And she goes, you can't say that. <laughs> and I go, yeah, we're going to the town. <laughs> so anyway, um, hats off to the nads. Next year you come back. We're going to be the Nads again, but Jonathan Sajak, you're the MVP of the Nads this year. Red Sox season over the last uh, 30 years, a tradition started by my predecessor and mentor, Red Sox Hall of Famer, Ken Coleman, quoting the late Commissioner of Baseball, A. Bartha Giamatti, who wrote in Green Fields of the Mind about the game of baseball. It breaks your heart. It is designed to break your heart. The game begins in the spring when everything else begins, and it blossoms in the summer, filling the afternoons and evenings. And then, as soon as the chill rains come, it stops and leaves you to face the fall alone. You count on it, rely on it to bumper the passage of time, to keep the memories of sunshine and high skies alive. And just when the days are all twilight, when you need it most, it stops and summer is gone. Fantasy camp is over, but the friendships and the memories will last a lifetime. Thank you very much. See you again next season.